Dear students, welcome back to my Sahani Creation Educational Channel. Today, we will learn an important chapter in English grammar, article. In this video, we will learn article A and. Next, in the second video, article D. Please watch the video beginning to end. If it is useful, then subscribe like comment and share well then let's start the video articles there are two kinds of articles in english first the definite article the second the indefinite article a or an articles are boldly adjectives the definite article b is pointer a demonstrative adjective it is a weaker form of this that these those the indefinite article a or an is a numerical adjective meaning one Articles are an important class of determiners in that they limit or uh, determine the meaning of nouns, common nouns in particular. Some common nouns, unspecified countable nouns, plurals, and unspecified uncountable nouns. Do not they take any article. In such case, it is said that they take the zero article. Example, men fear death. Here, both men and death take the zero article. There are, however, certain uses of a zero article which are idiomatic and specialized. They are to be learned separately. Some of them are uh, dealt with uh, under omission of articles in this chapter. Hence, it is possible to say there are three articles. First, the definite article. Second, the indefinite article. Third, the zero article. So, we see that there are three kinds of article here. First one is the definite article. The Second, the indefinite article a or an, or third, the zero article or no article is used before the nouns. First, we see the indefinite article. The indefinite article has two forms, a and an. It is called indefinite because the person or thing it refers to is left indefinite or unparticularized. Then we see the uses of indefinite article. A or an. One, A is used before a word beginning with consonant sound, and an is used before a word beginning with a vowel sound. Example, a pen, a man, a book, a university, a European, a one act play, a useful things, a unique event, a unit of length, a orthopen idea. An, an acre, an apple, an egg, an ink pot, an orange, an orphan, an umbrella, an hair, an hour, an honest person. The indefinite article is the same for all genders. A girl, an actor, an actress, a goat, a book, a boy, it is. Note, there are some words beginning with a consonant, but such consonants are not pronounced. They are mute or silent, and hence such words generally taken before them. So, we see that the words beginning with the consonant sound take article A, and the vowel sound take article an. But there are some division that uh, the words to, which begin with consonant sound, but they remain silent. So, they take an before them. Examples, air, fearless, honest, harmonium, honor, 
Nurari, Honorable, Award, Award. There are some words beginning with a vowel, but such vowels are not pronounced. They are mute or silent. Hence, such words take a A before them. Example, Europe, we say A Europe, A European, Uniform, Union, Unique, United, Universal, University, Usual, it is. Two, A or an is used before a singular noun representing things that can be counted. Example, Mars is a planet. Calcutta is a city. Weight is a cellar. A horse is an animal. So, A or an must be used when the noun is preceded by an adjective. In such cases, it is used just before the adjective. Example, Mars is a small plant. Here, adjective small. Calcutta is a big city. Adjective here B. So A article is used before the adjective P. A horse is a useful animal. Here adjective is useful. The article is used before it. A tiger is a dangerous animal. Here dangerous is a adjective. An article is used before it. Number three. A or an is used before a countable noun when it is first used. Example, a merchant came to a town and lived in a hotel. You know, a town, so a town and a, a hotel. B, put an egg in a basin and pour water into it. Four, A is not generally used before nouns standing for uh, things that cannot be counted. But it may be used before such noun if they donate. Example, a particular kind of the things. He likes a white wine with his dinner. Next, a particular quantity. Please come here and have a coffee. Have a, a coffee means a cup of coffee. Then, 5.5. A or an is used before a descriptive noun, that is, names of uh, professions and uh, occupations, etc. Example, my uncle is a doctor, not my uncle is a doctor. Here, doctor is a profession, so is used before doctor. I wish to be a teacher, not I wish to be teacher. This man is a thief, not this man is a thief. Similarly, Newton was a genus, you are a fool, she is a liar, this man is a buffer. Point six. A or an is normally used after such when it is used before things that are countable. So we can use a or an before the things that can be counted. Example, such a thing. Such a boy, such an evening. Then point seven. A or an is used between an adjective and its noun when the adjective is preceded by so. Example, I had never seen so tall a temple. Who can teach so dull a boy? She had never had so costly a pen. Then Point eight. When A is used before few and little, it changes their meanings. So when we use A before few and little, the meaning is changed. Few persons attended the meeting. Here few is negative in sense and it means a very small number when more persons we are expected. A few persons attended the meeting. Here uh, a few is positive in sense. It is Opposed to none as one might have a supposed. Note, few and a few are used with the plural countable nouns only. I have little money to spare. Here little is a negative in sense. It means not so much as a I would have liked. I have a little money to spare. Here a little is a positive in sense and it means I am not so short of money that I have none to spare. 
नोट लिटिल एंड ए लिटिल आर यूज बिफोर अनकाउंटेबल नाउन सो वी नो दैट फ्यू एंड ए फ्यू आर यूज विथ प्लूराल काउंटेबल नाउन ओनली एंड लिटिल एंड ए लिटिल आर यूज बिफोर अनकाउंटेबल नाउन देन कम टू नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉइंट नाइन इन सम केसेस ए और आन इज यूज टू मीन एवरी फॉर इच वी गेट्स ए सैलरी ऑफ वन हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ए मंथ ऑरेंज सेल एट वन रुपीज ए डर्जन एग्जाम्पल वी सेलिब्रेट द फेस्टिवल वंस ए इयर माई सिस्टर इट्स थ्राइस ए डे दि कार रनस एट सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स एन आवर वेल देन कम टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉइंट नंबर टेन ए और एन इज यूज विथ ए सिंगुलर नाउन इन अर्डर टू मेक द नाउन रिप्रेजेंट ए होल क्लास तो वेन ए नाउन रिप्रेजेंट ए होल क्लास वी यूज ए और एन एग्जाम्पल ए डग इज ए फेथफुल एनिमल हियर ऑल डग आर फेथफुल ए काउ इज ए यूजफुल एनिमल हियर ऑल काउज आर यूजफुल ए पैरट वेन ट्रेन कैन टक लाइक ए ह्यूमेन बींग Here all parents when a ten can talk like human being. Then point eleven. Sometimes a or an is used before a proper noun in order to make it a common noun. Example: A denial come to judgment. He is a Kalidas. Here a poet like Kalidas. Then point number twelve. A or an use is used in the sense of a certain before Mr. Mrs. Miss or any name, surname or title when a stranger is referred to. Example: A Mr. or Samantharay wants to see you. A partner was inquiring about you. A Miss Sen sang the opening song. Here we use. A before partner means a Mr. Samantrai. It is. Then come to the point number thirteen. A or an is used after the word half in expressions like half a love, half a mile, half an hour. Point number fourteen. A or an is used before the noun people to mean a nation. Here. Example: The Chinese are hardworking people. Here, people of nation is Chinese. Chinese before Chinese, we can use the. The English are a brave people. Here, English means the English people. We can use before English B. The. Then, point number fifteen: A or an is used before some superlatives for the sake of emphasis. That is superlative generally follow the. The is used before the superlative degree. Example: It was a most remarkable event. That was a most pathetic sight. Next point number sixteen: A or an is used before in exclamations. Example: What a pity! What a silly night! What a pretty girl! What a surprise! Then point number seventeen. A or an is sometimes used in the sense of the same. Example: Birds of a feather flock together. The boys left the room one at a time. So we see the use of article a or an. Then We see the omission of article a or an. We cannot use any article before a or an in some cases. A, a or an is not used before uncountable nouns. We cannot use a or an before uncountable nouns such as ink, paper, sugar, tea, luggage, furniture, news, information, wood, stone, glass, mail, water, etc. Example, but one can say a bottle of milk 
a piece of sugar we cannot see a ink we can say a bottle of ink we cannot say a paper we say a piece of paper a cup of tea a bag of sugar a log of wood then next point b a or an is not used before certain nouns when they are used in a general sense when certain noun is used in a general sense we cannot use a or an article before it example man is rational woman is frail then point number c a or an is not used before the second of two nouns that naturally go together example a man and wife a mother and child so we see that we cannot use a or an article before the second of two noun that naturally go together we can use a man we cannot say man and a, a wife we cannot say a mother and a child so it is the use of uh, indefinite article and omission of indefinite article a or an so we see the definite article d and its use and uh, omission of article in certain cases in the part 2 of article so if it is useful to you please comment share and subscribe the channel thank you